Hello and welcome back to the Bard Chord Course for Ukulele. Today we are working on having two fingers on the fretboard at the same time. We're also going to talk about the baby bar chord shape. If you have not watched video one yet, I will link it down below. It definitely helps you to go through each level if you have had a really hard time with bar chords so far. Before we get started, would you please hit the like button? That really helps the video reach the people who need this course, so thank you. Okay, so today we're starting a little differently. I would like for you to put your middle finger on the fifth fret of C string. Now, pick on that string and make sure it's ringing. Good. Okay, next we're going to put the index finger on the fourth fret of E string. Make sure it's ringing. And now we're going to lay down that index finger so that it also holds down A string. So your, your frets here are 0 on G, 5, 4, 4. And I would like for you to pick just on the 5, 4, 4. Remember that if you're having a difficult time with this, you can shift the thumb a little bit lower down and that should help your grip. And then also try to get close to the fret wires. Right now we have that index finger holding down two strings and this is what I like to call a baby bar. So I'd go back to that shape where it's five and then four, four. That four, four I will just be calling baby bar. Okay. Our goal is not to be in this position. I just had to start on these frets because they're bendy. I actually want us to move closer to, look up, closer to the nut. So we were just at 544. Move to 433 or four and a baby bar. Now make sure that the notes are ringing. Each one, check each one. Don't just strum through it, don't do this. I don't want that, I want each string to ring. The reason I'm having you do this is because I can't like see you. I can pretend to see you, but I can't see you, I can't hear you. If I were there, I would say like, oh, I can't hear that one string, it's a dead string. But this way, you're helping me to find any dead strings. Now let's say that you have a dead string like this. Wiggle that index finger and try again. And remember from video one that we talked about pulling back with the strumming forearm and then pulling back with a cording hand. So have those hands and your belly as a pivot point. <laughs> have those hands help you. Here, the bigger the belly, the better. <laughs> awesome. Okay, relax the hand. We're going to relax the hand for 10 seconds. If you can, please relax the hand into the subscribe button for this channel. The next goal is to hit 400k subscribers, so just please, thank you. Awesome. Okay, so we were at 433. I can tell some people probably unsubscribed for my cheesy comedy. Okay, go down to 322 now. Okay, you should feel a little bit of tension here. The reason is that it's harder to play at the higher frets up here, like fret one and two are more challenging. So try again. And finally go to frets two one one. This is a G minor seven. This is our goal for today. Relax the hand, shake it off. We're going to start at the third and second frets. So zero, three, two, two. And then scoot down. Oh, it sounds so good, right? And relax. Make sure that you're not trying to do this chord with your shoulders. Like if your shoulders are like up towards the heavens, drop, 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 drop. Okay, there you go. Breathe. And then bring the hand up towards the fretboard, release any stress, and go up, okay? Make sure you're enjoying the process. Okay, just like last time, assign one finger per string and pick each one. If you had a dead, 
a dead string. I was going to say a dead finger. If you had a dead string, adjust or get closer to the fret wires or drop that thumb a little bit. Drop that thumb to thumb. Okay. Self adjust. Okay. Relax the hand. And now every good teacher has you review, correct? So the chord that we learned in our previous lesson was C minor. Check and see if you remember. Do you remember? Okay. Try it. Zero, three, three, three. Is it all ringing? If not, wiggle. If yes, celebrate. Now, this G minor seven that we're doing today, I like to do the index finger just holding down two strings, but technically, technically you could have it over all three strings and then the middle finger. And for some of your hands, this will feel really comfortable. So try it. Like, don't say that's not for me without trying it. Try it. I know it's not for me, but I want you to try it. I like the baby bar chord shape, like holding just two strings. It just works really well for me. Okay, so if you're at this point in the lesson and you're still getting a dead string, then this is what I want you to do. Look up, hold the position that we're asking for, and then look at your fretboard. Because what might be happening is that your middle finger might be touching that E string. And so when you're looking at the fretboard, if, it's, if your middle finger is doing that lazy thing where it's touching that other string, then I'd like for you to lift it up yeah, and if you can't lift it up, that means that you're too glamorous and your nails are too long. So the fretboard hands nails should be really short so that you can do this and not this. You don't want this. You don't want baby shark. You want, I don't know, like Dracula. <laughs> so make sure you can do that real nice curve. Now, let's say that you're trying everything that I'm saying and it's not working. It's really painful. It's really hard to do all of this. Then chances are it's not you. It might be the ukulele. So here are some scenarios that it might be. I'll go from least likely to most likely. Least likely is that your instrument is warped. Like it's all bent. And so that neck is bent. And that means that the strings are sitting over a bent neck and this distance called the action from the strings to the fretboard is so high that you're trying to press down on those strings and they will just not reach because the ukulele or the, bent, the instrument is bent. So if that happened, I'm sorry, you need a new instrument. Of course, take it to a luthier, take it to someone who goes see it, but I don't think that's something that can be repaired. Okay, but that's least likely, so that's good news. Another one that maybe, it may be, this is kind of medium likely, <laughs> it may be that the action is high, that space between the strings and the fretboard, but it's high because your ukulele's nut or the saddle are high as well. Usually these can be sanded down. I don't recommend you do it at home though. I do recommend you take it to a luthier, take it to someone with experience fixing instruments, um, or take it to the store where you bought it and ask for a setup or ask them to lower the action. You can walk in saying that, can you please lower the action on my instrument? Um, that will help a ton. And this is why it's hard to play the chords on the first fret because the action there is going to be a little bit higher. Now, the most likely scenario, if you're struggling with the bar chords, like they're just not coming out, the most likely scenario, and this is good news, is that your strings are just too hard. It may be that you have a new instrument or it may be just the, the type of strings that you have. I personally think that the Aquila Super Nile gut strings are just really hard to break in, really difficult to break in. Um, if, you're do if you're not sure if you have those, uh, they are usually the strings that come with all ukuleles that you get like at a music shop or, yeah, most music shops will have them and they're the really white looking ones. So these are not that. 
Um, I have a different set of strings. I have Oasis low G strings because I have this but um, on most of my other ukuleles, including my signature ukulele, I have a different type of string. So I'm going to put in the description box below and on the top comment a few string recommendations of something that I think will be a lot more comfortable for you. So if you really like this lesson, would you please hit the subscribe button? I'm trying to reach 400,000 subscribers and every single click matters. Today's audio was edited by Jonathan Estrada and today's video was brought to you by the Patreon family. If you would like to join our Patreon community, I will add a link on the screen and down below. The Patreon community meets every week for Zoom lessons. I also give them exclusive ukulele festivals with talented artists, printables, and play-alongs that I do not publish anywhere else. In our next video, we will be holding down all four strings. We will be making use of the baby bar and we will be working gradually to that position. So please come back for the next video. By the way, the end credit music is by my band. We are on Spotify and I'll add a link for us down below too. It's really, really cool. All right, catch you in the next one. Ciao.